What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing Vileplume on the rank regulation F ladder. Now Vileplume, super dope gen 1 Pokemon, kind of works as Hisuian Logan on the scene. What I mean by that is we can go into Torkoal, we can go into Vileplume, pop that Chlorophyll double speed, and then from there use after you and have Torkoal pretty much just eruption freely, right? Because Vileplume's gonna be able to outspeed, then it can use after you, make it Torkoal go first, and then big time damage comes out from there. Vileplume has a chlorophyll to double its speed in the sun with the wide lens as item, making sleep powder land more frequently. The other three moves we have is Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, and After You, alongside with that Ghost Terror type, so we do not have to deal with fake outs with this combo. Speaking of dealing with fake outs, Torkoal has the Curva Cloak to deal with the fake outs, with Drought as its ability, then Eruption, Earth Power, Helping Hand, and Heat Wave for an amazing move set. Two other Pokemon on today's team is going to be Fire Ogre Pine and Walking Wake. Two Pokemon that really thrive out with the sun. Walking Wake's got that Hydro Steam, it's got Flamethrower, and Ogre, Ogre Pond has that Ivy Cudgel, which turns into fire with that Hard Flame Mask. Final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Indeedee and Hatterene. They can go in as a lead, in as a back end, they can pop Trick Room, they can go for Expanding Force. You can really just get after the battle any way you want with this combo. Super, super strong in rank regulation F. We'll probably use it at least in one of today's battles. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one. Hopping into our first match for the brand new season. And I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Giordi. Thank you so much for making this team. I will be linking his YouTube page down in the description below alongside with the Pokebase. So if you guys want to check out the team more in depth, it will be down in the description. But tough team here in match number one. A lot of Protosynthesis boost with Raging Bolt, Fluttermane, and Walking Away. So maybe we just want to go into something like Indeedy here because they don't have no way of doing terrain control. I really want to go Vileplume and Torkoal in match number one, but Indeedy had a ring. It seems so good, right? It just seems so good. Plus, if we want to pop Trick Room, which I'm probably going to do, Torkoal is going to be the call. So, I really do like all this. Actually, they do have terrain control with Rillaboom. A little bit of a threat, but I think we should be fine with that. What's your speed, Indeedy? I like 81. Okay, that's cool. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to pop Trick Room here, turn one, and then just get rocking out with my back end Pokemon. Right, Torkoal in the back end, Walking Wake or Ogre Pond. Hmm. Their walking weight kind of does me dirty. My walking weight can actually be really good, depending on speed. 177. Yes. I like that. I like that. So I'm going to go walking weight of my own for late game. I have Flamethrower to deal with the Whimsicott Rillaboom. I also have Hydra Steam to deal with the Entei. And on top of that, I got a Dragon Move to finish off their walking weight and their Raging Bolt. The only Pokemon that we have to worry about is going to be Fluttermane. But I feel as my Trick and Pokemon like Torkoal or Hatterene can really get after it. So no Vile Plume in match number one. I'll definitely try to use it in match number two, but they're just gonna go in with Entei and Long Neck Giraffe. Cool. So no Thunderclaps allowed. They could go for Calm Mind. Calm Mind could definitely get boosted here. And could Entei really do anything to me? They could Snarl. They could definitely Snarl, but I'm just gonna go Trick Room here. And on top of that, I'm just gonna Dash and Gleam. Or do I expand the Force? I'm gonna Force. I think Force can do a nice chunk of damage here. They might Calm Mind boost. I don't really see them KO in my Indeedy, so there's no point in me going for following me. The second fire is going to fly through, and they're just going to go straight after Hatterene. No big deal if they take out Hatterene. That's no big deal. That's fine. Okay, so they take out Hatterene. Okay. That's fine. Maybe I should have went for the follow me, but hey, Trick Room is out and about. We got it out. So they end up just doubling down into that slot. But now we got Trick Room out. I could just go straight into Torkoal, who has Earth Power. And we like Earth Power. We like Earth Power here. We definitely do. So you know what? I am going to go into Torkoal. I mean, I don't really have an option to go into Walking Wake. Walking Wake is too fast. It's way too fast. So we're going to go into Torkoal here. We might just Helping Hand Earth Power these Pokemon down. The real question is, who should I go after first? Maybe Entei because it does have E Speed. It does indeed have E Speed. Actually, it can't use E Speed. That's actually really good. So from here, I'm just going to go Dazzling Gleam. And I'm just going to Earth Power. Ba -ba 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 -ba, probably Entei. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we could have Stop and Cancel with Entei. I don't think this Earth Power is going to KO, but it should still do a huge chunk of damage. We'll see what they want to do. We're going to protect the Rage Bolt, which is perfectly fine. That's more than perfectly fine. We don't mind that one bit, because Earth Power is going to fly into Entei. It's going to do a little bit more than half, which is huge, and Dazzling Gleam is going to fly. So if I had to guess, he's going for a Stop and Cancel here, which is no big deal. I might just start following me next turn. 
and it might look to rip a heat wave. He goes for a stone edge, which ends up missing. That's massive. Torkoal dodging the stone edge. So from here, I'm just gonna do that. And I could earth power you again. I could. Or I could just go like follow me this turn. Actually, no, we're just gonna play this one simple. I could erupt. I think I'm gonna erupt. I think Gleam and Eruption should be able to KO this uh this Entei. I'm gonna erupt here. He's gonna withdraw. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's totally cool. Who are you gonna go into? Because I'm erupting. I am erupting. Bad news. That's real bad news. Unless you're going for E-Speed. Still, it's bad news. There's some nice damage coming out here. So, Real Boom probably gone here. He ends up protecting the Entei. So, we're gonna say bye-bye to Real Boom. Get it on out my face. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. See you later. Get it going. Later. Eruption. <laughs> Popping. Torkoal killing it in Trick Room. So, now we have Sun out here. We have a few turns left in Trick Room. And then we have Walking Wake in the back end, which is super solid for us. I like it. Plus, we just got rid of a Pokemon. And we have Entei low on HP. So I can see him potentially going for an E-Speed here and going back into the Raging Bolt, right? And being able to Thunderclap. Yeah. So I think now's the turn to actually go for the Follow Me and take out the Entei, correct? Yeah, two turns left in Trick We're going to take out the Entei. And just go for Follow Me. Earth Power. Follow me, Earth Power. They're gonna terrestrialize Long Neck or Entei. Who you got? Who you terrestrialize? Entei, you little biscuit. You little biscuit. Going into the normal terror type. So he's looking just to E speed, do some big time damage. I don't think that this Earth Power is gonna be able to KO, which kind of sucks. We we really don't like that. We really don't like that. E speed's gonna fly through here. How much damage is this doing to my indeed? Okay, it's not bad. And you take Rocky on my damage, so actually his Earth Power could probably KO now. Thunderclap's gonna come out here and we dodge it. Or we don't dodge it, it fails because we're not attacking. So now Earth Power flies, we get rid of Entei, we get rid of their Terror type. Lovely, 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 lovely. We have one turn left in Trick Room, and chances are, if I had to guess, most likely he's protecting the Raging Bolt here, correct? Makes the most sense. Protect the Raging Bolt. Then I go into their final Pokemon, and it's gonna be Fluttermane. Maybe Fluttermane doesn't have Protect. I'm hoping Fluttermane doesn't have Protect. Something that I want to do here is probably just pop a Heat Wave. Could go Gleam as well. You know what? We're gonna go Gleam and Heat Wave. I would think they would double Protect. No, they just cancel the battle. Okay, we'll take it. Want to know to get things started. Definitely a really weird play from our opponent to just cancel that battle. We had one turn left in Trick Room. I know they had Protect on Raging Bolt. Not sure what their Fluttermane was rocking, but most likely could have had it, right? Or it could have been Choice Specs, and that would have been a problem for them. But still, canceling the battle, I think they definitely had a shot. But hey, we'll take that win. We're going up against a similar team here in match number two with Fluttermane, with Raging Bolt, with Urshifu, with Tornadus, and then they got Incineroar and... What is that Pokemon? Robo. So I really want to go Vileplum and Torkoal. But the problem here is Tornadus. Tornadus is just a massive threat. So maybe I want to bring them in, in the back end. That's something I'm going to try to do, actually. So for our lead here, I think we might just go like Indeedee. Hey, yeah. Maybe Ogre Pond. Not bad. Trying to force them to use Tailwind. And then start attacking them. And maybe pop a Trick Room too. That's not bad. That is not bad. I like that. And then go Torkoal and Vileplume in the back end. I like that. I like that. Because their plan here is going to want to... We, we want to get rid of this... We want to get rid of this Tornadus first and foremost, right? We need to get rid of this Tornadus first and foremost. So if I can get rid of Tornadus, take out their weather control, I can bring in my weather combo in the back end. I could pop Trick Room. I don't have to pop Trick Room. Um, but... Just really depends on who they go into. They're gonna go Incineroar alongside with Tornado. So they can't fake me out. They could go for a knockoff here. Um I think I might just put my mask on and go for an IV cudgel to take out the Tornadus. The psychic surge is gonna pop here. I can see them going for a knockoff here. I can see them just going for a bleak wind storm. So to be honest. To be honest, I am just going to go for a follow me. I'm going to put the mask on. I'm going to drop an Ivy Cudgel. 
And I'm going to go right after this Tornadus. Tornadus could pop Tailwind if it wants to. It definitely could. Could go Tailwind. He could go for a knockoff. But I don't really know if he's going to go for a Tailwind. Knowing that Ndidi's on the field and I have like a Torkoal in the back end. So we're going to throw him off a little bit. We're going to put this mask on the Ogre Pond. We're just going to look to hit this thing as hard as we possibly can. And hopefully KO with this plus one attack boost. Let's see. Because you can't fake me out. I got the terrain. A lovely little terrain. And follow me is coming across the board. So they could be going for Bleak Wind Storm. Knockoffs could be flying here. We just kind of want to protect our thing. And they're going to go for a Rain Dance here. Okay. I mean, we're not going to be able to KO you anymore. Unless we get a crit. A crit would be beautiful. A crit would be beautiful right about now. We don't get the crit. He's just going to Parting Shot. Which is totally fine. Into my support board. He's going to Parting Shot maybe in the Urshfu. And if that's the case, if they go in Urshfu here, Torkoal is our call, right? Go right into Torkoal and then just dump on Tornadus. We're going to go Rillaboom. Okay. Rillaboom comes out here. Let's take out this Tornadus. They can fake me out. Let's actually just go for a... They can fake me out. I'm just going to Spiky Shield. I'm going to wait a turn. I'm going to wait a turn. I'm just going to Gleam, and I'm just going to go into a Spiky Shield here. I'm going to wait a turn, just to see what he wants to do. Because if he fakes out my, my Ogre Pond, and then starts attacking, or say, say he fakes out my Ogre Pond this turn, right? Yep, there's the fake out. And we would have swapped in the Torkoal, then he could just Rain Dance next turn. But what I want to do is bring in the Torkoal for the Indeedy here, and then attack that Tornadus. And then just get rid of it, just so they don't have weather control, right? The speed's gonna drop for Ndidi. That's and gonna pop off here. Do a tad bit of damage, nothing crazy. Better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. And now we swap into the Torkoal. Torkoal, get on out here. So Turtle, coming in hot. Stick with this Ivy Cudgel into this slot. And just get rid of Tornados. We, we just don't need this weather control. So he ends up hard swapping Rillaboom here. He's gonna go, gonna go into Incineroar. So we should still be able to take out him, no problem. Actually, we're minus one now. I totally forgot about the first Intimidate. I totally forgot about that first Intimidate. We're minus one. Even in the sun, I still see his KO. We might want to swap our masked Pokemon after this. Because now we got out Torkoal. We're gonna bring out the Sunlight. Now he pops his Tailwind. Tailwind's here. Tailwind's here. And Ivy Cudgel should KO. We're minus one, I understand that. But it's, we still should be able to KO. Cool. So we get rid of him. He does pop a Tailwind. Um, I could swap into a DD and try to pop a Shirker now. Huh. What is my play? Since Incineroar's out here, they're going to go into their final Pokemon, which is going to be Fluttermane. Actually, I really like Torkoal here. So we don't want him to fake out. So, I mean, let's just go Heat Wave here. And swap into you. Or do I swap into Bob Woman instead? Nah, we're gonna swap into Indeed. Indeed's our safe call. So we're gonna swap, we're gonna change up the terrains. No fake outs allowed. Um I have the cover cloak on Torkoal regardless. But taking out Tornadus is huge, because now we got the sun. Now we got the sun. This is solid. This is a real solid second match. Swaps in and out from both sides of the field. That's how you know it's a good match when, when we're swapping in. Hey, you know, that's how you know it's a good Pokemon match. So outcomes are terror type. Um, probably gonna go straight fairy, I would believe, right? Looking just to do some damage. Looking to do some damage. Yeah, straight fairy. We got heat wave getting after it. Maybe I should went for earth power into the snore, but I don't mind. So you going for fake out? No, you're just sticking here going dazzling gleam. Maybe just doubling down and torque here. Dazzling gleam, torque. Ow, takes a lot of damage out, and Didi dies out. I thought Ndidi would be able to survive. Torko takes an absurd amount of damage, and he goes for a knockoff here. Which is fine, no big deal, we survive that. You're gonna take off my Covert Cloak, but that item's not really doing much. Heatwave's gonna fly through here, chipping up some nice damage, and from here, we could go into Vileplume. This is tough, because they're in Tailwind. I could try to put the Incineroar to sleep. We just have to waste out these Shrikram turns, right? Or not Shrikram, Tailwind turns. 
I could go into you. I wish I can see how many turns are left at this screen right here. Because that would actually give me a decision of who I want to go with. Tail. I'm trying to remember how many. I think there might be one more turn left to tail in after this, but I could be wrong. I'm going to go into Ogre Pond here. I might just spiky shield. I think there's one turn left in Tailwind. If that's the case, that's really good for us. I'm really hoping that there's one turn left in Tailwind. Please be one turn left in Tailwind. Please. Please. Two. See, like, if I would have known that, I would have went right into Vileplume. I would have went right into Vileplume. But from here, they're going to Dazzle Gleam. They're going to finish off Torkoal. They're just going to double down in the at this point, I'm going to Spiky Shield this turn. I'm going to Spiky Shield this turn. If I'm going to Spiky Shield this turn, I'll be able to bring out Vileplume in the sunlight a little bit. Hopefully, it outspeeds the Cinnabar. Right? We might have to Spore Spam to, to win this one. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> as much as I don't want to do it. I'm going to try to Spore somebody next turn. Probably the Incineroar. I'm hoping the Vileplume outspeeds in some way. But, dude, this Dazzle Gleam is ripping. It's doing a bit too much damage. Because what I'm thinking here is hopefully Plurifil Vileplume can outspeed the Incineroar. And at that point, we can put him to sleep. And then hopefully Ogre Pond can eat up whatever shot Fluttermane has to offer. And then we can Ivy Cudgel and just KO, right? That's the plan. That's the plan. But I don't know if you can outspeed. But we're going to give it a try. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go straight into the Ivy Cudgel. And try to waste out this last trick and turn. He ends up withdrawing Incineroar. Okay. You can go back into Robloom. Okay, that's kind of smart. Kind of smart. Kind of smart. We can't sleep out of him. But still, Dazzling is going to come out. Can you guys survive? A little bit of thank you. We do survive. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sleep powder can come out here. Get blocked. He's going to want to intimidate us again. Um, Ivy Cudge are flying. See you later, Trickling or Tailwind. So now we have some speed cooking here. And now we got a match. So that withdrawal there, really odd. Really odd. I mean, I know they want to intimidate, but you had Tailwind to me. You might as well use it. But again, I wasn't sure if you were outspeeding us or not. So I'm going to get back a little bit of HP from this string here. Really, really boom here with its best friend, Incineroar, going to come out here. Again, we have speed. This is definitely a spiky shield turn. This is by far the spikiest of spiky shield turns, right? And it might just fake me out. Mm, this could be a problem. This could be a problem. I wish I had protect here. I wish I did have protect. I'm gonna try to put you to sleep here. Um, and then we're just gonna go for spike shield again. I don't need I don't need the fake outs. I don't need to deal with the fake outs. I don't need to deal with the fake outs. Spike shield coming out and about. Let's see if they fake me out. They could just double down a vile boom here. If there's one shot. That, was that from Rillaboom? I think it was. I think it was, it was, so Sleep Powder could land on this thing. Yes, sir, Wildlands coming in hot. Coming in hot. I like where we're sitting now. I like where we're sitting now. Come on, man. And Sinor slumped. Slumped. I think we have one turn left in uh, Sunlight. Nope, it faded there. But who should I attack? Who should I attack? Because I can Ivy Cudgel to roll him down. It could protect. Or I can just throw Sludge Bomb into that slot. Sludge Bomb not look bad. I could double down into roll boom. Are you going to protect? Maybe. You know what? No, we're just going to go stop and attach him. We're going to sludge bomb. Side by side. And we'll see how much damage we can do here. Not bad damage. Of course, you got the berry. I maybe should double down in the roll boom. I probably should double down in the roll boom. Hopefully, the sludge bomb can do some nice damage. We are outspeeding too, which is huge. The sludge bomb doing a huge chunk. We got speed cooking. And you, of course, you have high horsepower. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, we should have taken out roll boom. I just lost that battle. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see, because if it's Cinnaro sleep... Ah. Uh, hmm. If it's Cinnaro sleep one more turn here... We might have a shot at win this. No, I don't think we do. I should have just taken out the little boom. I was just scared of the protect there. Dang, I really sold that one, didn't I, guys? We'll sludge bomb. We'll take out little boom here. Hoping Cinnaro has a three-turn sleep, right? Man, I really sold that one. That hurts, man. That hurts. I made the comeback too. I had that one. I just had to take out the roll boom. 
Now Robin's out. Can he be asleep another turn, Incineroar? That'd be cool. That hurts that we're going to lose this one. This one, we're going to wake up. Yeah, he wake up. Wakes up all day. Flare Blitz is coming in hot here. Womp womp. I'm better than that. I deserve that win. That's all me. That's all me. All good, though. One and one. We got to showcase Vileplume a little bit. Let's go hop into our third and grab you guys that winning record. We're hopping into our last battle for today's video, going up against an Iron Crown team with Indeedy, and then they also have Sneasler. If I had to guess, probably Psychic Seeds on the Sneasler. We're looking for this win. Wish we would have won that last one. That one's on me. I should just double down the road. Ivy Cudgel, Sludge Bomb, made sure that thing died out, because if that thing was dead there in that turn, then we would just have the 2v1 up against the Cinema. But I was scared he was going to protect and just waste that turn, but that wasn't the case. Real tough on my end. Real tough on my end. But... I think we're going to go Torkoal. I think we're going to go Vileplume here for the lead. They have no way of weather control. Plus, if they want to lead Incineroar, we can dodge fake outs with Ghost Terror type on Vileplume and Covert Cloak on Torkoal and Intimidate won't affect them because they're both special attack. That's something I really, really like. And then in the back end, we go Ogre Pond Walking Wake. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Iron Crown is a little scary for sure. But I do have that lovely Fire Bolt. And I do have a Grass Pokemon, too. Iron Crown's favorite terror type is water, so... If I feel as a threat that it's going to Thrasilize, I might just send a Leaf Storm its way, right? Could be the play. Could definitely be the play. We'll see. We'll see what they want to do here. Let's see other Leaf. It's going to be Incineroar. Be, yep, Walking Wake and Incineroar. So, I'm actually going to Protosynthesis pop this Walking Wake. So, I actually might want to put this scene to sleep. I might just want to put this scene to sleep. So, if I Thrasilize... Vile pool. I can't be faked out, which is good. But I think we need to put Walking Week to sleep first and foremost. They could just go for Hydra Steam. Maybe I just want to swap Torkoal into like Ogre Pond. I want to be bad, or maybe Walking Week on my own. I actually like this Walking Week here. And then just put this thing to sleep. Terrasilize put to sleep? Yes. Terrasilize put to sleep. So we're gonna swap the Torkoal turn one. We're gonna go into Walking Wake. We're gonna go right into Walking Wake. That pro the Protosynthesis pop is crazy strong. I'm gonna go into my Walking Wake. I think a Hydra Seam might go after my Torkoal slot. From here, I'm just gonna Terrasilize into Ghost, just so we don't die out to a Fire move. Actually, we still might die out to a Fire move. But we can dodge Fake Out at the same time. Here. So, Vile Plume, get in the Ghost Terra. Not dealing with the fake outs. I'm just not doing it. I'm just not doing it. Not happening. Not happening. See, I told you. It's not happening. It's not happening. Bob, can you outspeed? You don't. But I make the nice read of Hydra Steam coming in this slot. Big time swap. And we kind of just read his whole turn, right? Kind of read everything that it wanted to do. We read the fake out and we read the Hydra Steam going into the Torkoal slot. So now we get off a big time sleep into the walking wake. Um. I think from here, do we just want to take out Walking Wake, or do we want to go after Incineroar here? I'm going to Hydra Steam first. We're going to look to just get rid of the Incineroar. Actually, he might swap. Who could he swap into? If that's the case. Really, no one. Anybody you swap into is taking some damage here, unless you Terrasilize that Pokemon. So I'm going to stick with that there. And I'm just going to start doing some damage into Walking Wake, right? Yeah, see? You're not swapping. Get this thing on Addy. Go on. Good call for us to just keep the pace there going into Hydra Steam. The sleep was massive. Um, I think we'll Draco Meteor down this this Walking Wake next turn, right? I think Walking Wake needs to go. It's just such a big threat. But out comes Sludge Bomb. Not bad damage. That's some solid damage. That's some good damage. Leaf Storm. We might just Leaf Storm that and KO it with Leaf Storm. Is there going to go Fluttermane here? They might Shadow Ball me. Um, we are neutral to... Are we neutral? I might just protect you. I might... Do I spore someone again? I'm gonna spore. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna spore... No, no, no. We're gonna make sure this thing dies out. We're gonna kill it with a walking wake here. Okay, I'm gonna walk and wake all day. I'm gonna say bye-bye to you. I'm gonna protect the walking wake. My... My walking wake. And I'm gonna KO their walking wake. Their walking wake wakes up. That's lovely. And he protects. Lovely. So one turn sleep from him. Of course, whenever I get put to sleep, I'm asleep for like 10 years. Perfect, just what I wanted. A one turn sleep. 
But Shadow Ball does fly over here. Man, dude. This is such a good turn for him. This is a really good turn for them. That's terrible, man. That's terrible. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. So he ends up taking me out there. I get no value out of that turn. And now they, they woke up. So man, I could go into Torkoal, but at this point, it's not that good. It's really not that good. So I might just want to go into Ogre Pond. I think I have to. I don't have Terra anymore. I don't have Terra. I do not have Terra. So I'm going to trick a meter. I'm going to make sure this thing goes down. I have to get rid of Walking Wake here if I want to do anything and Spiky Shield up. I'm going to Shield of the Spikies up. Place that there. We don't have Terra. We have to get rid of Walking Wake. Because Walking Wake just poses a threat to my whole squad. Jerk Meter comes out here. We're just going to finish off. Here. See you later. Get it going. Actually, maybe didn't even have the Spiky Shield. I probably should have just Ivy Cudgeled there. Because I knew my Walking Wake should outspeed. Let's see. Yeah, I should have just attacked. And you seem choice. You seem choice in the Shadow Ball, which isn't a bad move. And I can bring out Torkoal now. Torkoal's going to be pretty solid here. So, I'm going to bring out Torkoal. Turns to a 2v2 situation. I got the slow Pokemon. They got the fast Pokemon. And yeah, we wasted a turn there. I should just Ivy Culture that Flutter Man. Because Iron Crown's going to come out here. Iron Crown. Now, they still have Terror type. And I wish I had a Grass move. I really did. Do, because I know you're going into a Water Terror type. I know you're going into Water Terror type. But from here, I'm just going to Heat Wave. And I'm just going to double down the Flutter Mate. Let's look to get rid of this Flutter Mate. Iron Crown with the Steel. I think we're cool with this. So yeah, they're going to Terrasalize. Straight. This is why I wish we had the Grass move. That's why I wish we had the Grass move. God dang Iron Crown. Water Iron Crown. So, I don't know how much damage this thing's going to do to us. Or how much damage we can actually do to that. Ivy Cudge is going to fly. Can we just crit and KO this thing? Dude, was that a crit? It was a crit. We just KO'd. That's huge. That's huge. They pick up a KO onto that, and this thing does have Pyroverse, which is so perfect. At least I do have Grass Typing on my, uh... On my, what's it called? On my Ogre Pond. I just wish I had a Grass move. But Heat Wave Flies does a nice chunk of damage. We like that damage. And from here, we're just gonna go Helping Hand and go into a Stomping Tantrum? Yeah, let's do as much damage as we can. Especially with Helping Hand here. Let's look to clean up this match, grab ourselves a winning record. I should be able to soak up one Terra Blast from him. I know he has speed. Sonic Tantrum does huge damage. And Terra Blast is going to finish off the turtle, right? Yes. So big time Helping Hand from us there. Helping Hand definitely actually helped us out tremendously. And now one more Stomping Tantrum should finish off this matchup. It should. It should. And we should have a chance to get two off because I don't think a Terra Blast is going to KO us. Considering it's not super effective, it's neutral. We're part grass. Beautiful. So we go for our final stop and catch them. Is that game? It is game. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video. Wish we would have won that second one because we were so close to that 3 0 perfect record. Vile Plume in ranked regulation F. Absolutely loved it today. Use it with the Torkoal, use it with the Sun Squad with Walking Wake Ogre Pond, and then we also had Ink DD and Hatterene on squad for a different side effects. But again, Vile Plume was awesome. It's just like Hisuian Logan, you could use F you. You could put Pokemon to sleep. The only difference is it's part poison type. So you get off some big time sludge bombs on some certain Pokemon. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.